A big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Hey all, how have you all been? The big news is here. Our baby arrived on the 4th of July and you'll see a glimpse of it in the later half of the video. This video was shot prior to my delivery. Here I am 37 weeks and 4 days pregnant. So today let's talk about some newborn essentials, things that I used during Kaya and things that I thought it is worth or not worth buying after one month of use with a newborn. I ordered few stuff from IKEA and somewhere from Amazon. I love this diaper pad from IKEA. I had used the same one for Kaya when we were living out of India. Since she was not born here, I had access to IKEA then too. Diaper or nappy changes are a constant thing with a newborn and getting something where you can change your baby comfortably is highly recommended. I also got this cover to put on the diaper pad so that the baby finds it soft and comfortable. This one is a waterproof baby mat for times when you want to keep your baby diaper free or it's also very useful for those who like to use nappy to prevent leakage on any surface. This is a baby bath towel with hood. It's very soft and I have been using it since day one. I also got this butt tub from IKEA. I thought it was very inexpensive compared to the ones on Amazon and once the baby is a year old, we are anyway going to use the butt tub in the bathroom so it wasn't worth spending much on a tub. That's so cute. It has moon on it. Yeah. I also bought this set of two fitted sheets for the crib and this mattress protector to protect the crib mattress from accidents. There's something that came in. Let's see what's in there. Oh, there's a jute and there's a kaya. <laughs> <laughs> This is a set of two muslin clothes with newborn. These muslin clothes come very handy. They are super soft on a newborn skin and you can use it for multiple things. This is a bumper pad which you can use it around the crib to protect the baby from bumping on the crib rails. I'm using this diaper on the baby and I've used the same for Kaya as well. 
I also got this wet wipe dispenser from Amazon. Also this wet wipes. For the newborn skincare, I'm using Avino Baby Lotion, Nose Cleaner, Kajal, Nail Clipper Set. It includes a nail scissor, nail filer, tiny nail cutter and a nose dirt plucker. Also body wash and shampoo, laundry detergent and bottle cleaner. I also got this support mat for the bathtub. With this, it becomes really easy to bathe your newborn. These are glass feeding bottles with 120 ml capacity. Now, let's start with organizing the chest of drawer. These are beeps, washcloths and burp cloths. I also got this mittens for the newborn since they may at times come with really sharp nails and could injure themselves. However, I haven't used it more than a week. I find it very inconvenient since it keeps falling off and it is quite uncomfortable too. Instead, I found it easier to cut my baby's nail after he was a week old. This is a ready-made baby swaddle. It wasn't there when I had Kaya and this is a very good alternative to normal swaddles which could be tricky and time-consuming. This is the diaper rash cream I used on Kaya and swear by its effectiveness and I'm loving it the second time too. Also hair brush and comb. Bottle cleaner, one of the important product in case you are pumping your breast milk on a bottle or you are bottle feeding. I also got this diaper disposable bags because newborn poop can be quite stinky. Although we haven't used it as much, I prefer to wrap each diapers on a newspaper instead. Coconut oil for baby massage. Also, cap or hat for the newborn. I hardly used them since my little one seems to be too hot on them and sweats. I haven't used caps on Kaya as well. This drawer is for the baby's clothes. I prefer rompers and onesies only on my newborn. Here are different types of blankets. These are very important item and I use it every day. Almost lunch time, my house help has been cooking these days. We are cooking gobi fry, masoor dal, fish head curry or muri ghanta in Bengali. Egg curry with poppy seeds, methi sag, fish with brinjal and dal fritters or alu begun bori diye match. It's elaborate and almost a feast. 
and that's because my parents are here for helping me out with and post delivery so you can see a lot of typical bengali style food in the menu today We are also changing the bedding since the next day I was about to get admitted to be induced for labor so that once we are back we have clean sheets to sleep on I'm packing my hospital bag tonight. Here are some items I thought I would need during my stay. Nursing bra, I haven't used it as much during my stay at the hospital, but I'm using it now and it was a good buy considering the ease to open part of it to feed your baby. I swear by this one, a hot water bag is a must have during your labor. I got so much of relief when I put this on my back during my contractions. It eased my pain a lot. These nursing pads can be stuck to our bra and it helps soaking in the milk leakage post delivery. Sanitary pads I had this once at home so I took them but I highly recommend to use maternity pads in case you go for a normal or vaginal birth the maternity pads are very soft and it eases the pain from the friction on the incision on the perineal area next are clothes for both baby and me I took 3 nighties two pajamas and one pair of going home clothes since we weren't sure of the gender we packed clothes for both the gender as you can see I also packed wash clothes, burp clothes, blankets, swaddles, muslin clothes, etc. I also carried a pullover and a blanket for me. I made sure I carry my breast pump too, though my milk supply was extremely low and I didn't use the pump at all until I came home. However, for some, the supply may vary. What happened, guys? I'm just showing the diaper bag. That's all. Hey guys, I'm having a little sister or brother. Mm. One boy clothes and one girl clothes. And finally the big day is here. We reached the hospital around 8.30 in the morning. I was asked to get admitted and settle in the room, have my breakfast, get into a comfy maternity gown given by the hospital. My doctor induced me around 10 in the morning. The pain though had immediately started after I was induced in an hour but it had worsened since 12ish in the afternoon and it almost got to the unbearable point by 2.
and finally around 4:30 in the evening the baby arrived come come she came On the 6th of July we were discharged and it was time to go home. The balloons must be talking about the baby's gender already. It's a boy. Here we are home with our little man. The first few weeks was all about finding a routine, feeding, changing, putting him to nap and repeat. It seemed like life is moving in a loop. There are things we had learned 7 years ago with Kaya and we are trying to recollect them. It's amazing how with every little life you create, you seem to have the same love and affection. I never imagined how it would be like to be a mother of a boy child and now I feel that if I did not have him I would never have known that feeling. They say that girls love their dads more and the boys are mama's sweethearts. I know for sure that this will be true here as well. A child is a gift and one should always find joy in the gift of life that has been showered on you. It was a different experience with Kaya as a child and it's a lot different with our little boy. his schedule his interaction with us his needs etc are sometimes completely new to us and that's the beauty of it i would say we have the best of both worlds i'm just curious of how kaya and her little guy will bond as of now kaya seems very protective about him and jude She is the exact image of an elder sister who may play with you but will always have your back. Let's see how that evolves. Meanwhile, this is a beautiful phase of life and I'm completely enjoying it. Once again, I may not have been very active on social media this month, but I'll be back to my regular self once we find our routine. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bit more about the sponsor for this video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. It lets you connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts to extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax and ship items across the globe. You can display posts from your social profiles on your website. automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too 
So if this is something that interests you, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash diade to save 10% off on your first purchase of a website or domain.